So pretty much right now we're just we're just kind of feeling up the rivalry, you know, like it's a big game, biggest game, our biggest game of the year. So we're just trying to get, you know, the school spirit getting kind of started. I think our our really big wall is, is coming on Friday. That's when everybody we feel we have all these walls filled up with kind of you know like bell game posters. Last year was like a really weird year. Like it was all online. Nobody came to school. Not even really towards the end, but still that wasn't even really coming to school. So it just feels really good to be back. I think you know spirits are really high. Everyone's really excited, especially the bell game. You know, obviously we didn't win last year, but. Hopefully we take it home this year. <laughs> so far, Spirit Week has been really good. Yesterday we had anything but a backpack. So you saw kids bringing ice chests. I saw a kid bring a boogie board, a pressure cooker. So it's just really cool. And today's white lies. And well, you've seen, there's like a lot of kids wearing white lies. You know, I'm, this is my white light shirt. So it's going pretty good so far. Tomorrow we have a dress formal. And then Thursday we have this is our like our spooky day, which is like Halloween or just like spooky colors. And then obviously Friday is extreme bloom goals. Rivalry is huge. It's the number one rivalry in the United States, you know? Um, I know it's especially huge when uh, my dad's the athletic director here and he hasn't slept, so it's it's obviously pretty big. I think so too. It's just, I think with the whole COVID thing and everybody wanting to go see the bell game, and ever since Central took the, you know, the bell, I mean, it's pretty intense for Brawley. We need that bell back and he's like, come home. This is the 78th or so a year they've played and so it's obviously a huge game for the two cities and I mean people are coming in from all over the valley getting tickets so it's obviously people want to see the game the two best teams in the valley it's gonna be fun very excited yeah someone came and bought 15 tickets and the, and the reserve tickets yeah. so the $30 each these people are not playing they want their seats this is a serious game It's a big tradition here in this city, not just this school, but just this whole city in general. And it's it's really exciting to see how excited our kids are for this whole week of preparing for, you know, the spirit days, the the spirit wall, the pep rally, everything. And and we try to do our best as we can to get them prepared for that so we can help them, you know, be more motivated to help cheer on our boys and, you know, help them, you know, win this game and, and, and bring the bell back home. It's 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 gonna be a, an overwhelming atmosphere with with sound and everything, but it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun because um, the whole purpose of, of you know for, for them to go out there is to show their support and cheer on and everything. And it's gonna it's it's gonna it's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be a, a fun event. It's gonna be a fun game. The football team is doing really great throughout the whole Ivy League. Um, I feel great going into the ball game this year, actually. But everybody's just hyped about it. Everybody's just excited. You know, we're back from COVID, and you know, we're actually getting a, a student section and a, you know, football. We're watching football. They're ready. Our football boys are ready. We're excited. Another bell week, yeah, well, I mean, the legendary bell game is never far off your mind, even if it's the week of the game, but I mean, even the, uh, you know, 11 and a half months leading up to the game, it's, it's, it's always on your mind. Um, and if you lose, you're wanting to get it back. And if you're, you, you do have it, you're fortunate to have the bell, you want to do whatever you can to keep the bell. So it's, it, those, those kind of things are always crossing through your mind. Um, I think our lead up started last week because we had a buy. And, um, we planned that for the lead up to the Bell game last year, as you know, after we played the Bell game here at Brawley, the 77th Bell game here at Brawley in April. So, yeah, it, it, it's been two weeks for us. It's actually, we're, we're in the second week of um, Bell game mentality at this point. And um, no, Bell game is everything. I mean, it's everything. And I say everything, I mean, it's life around here in Brawley, and it's the same in Central. Um, so it, it's important. It's not just another league game. It's important.
Well, I mean, when the bell game rolls around, you know, we were in a different setting last year with uh, the pandemic and only letting a couple people per kid come into the gate. It seemed like just another bell game when you looked around at the audience. Not when you're on the field. It's, it's a different mentality. It's a different mentality. A bell game is a bell game. But it's, I think it's, it's, it just shows it's a lot more important this year. It's always important. But I think the importance of it this year is everybody's getting to come out. There's no limitations. There are no limitations on who can be there and who cannot be there. We're going to do our, our best both at Central High School and Brawley High School to keep people safe. But at the end of the day, we all want to win a bell game. And it is important. It's the 78th bell game. And, uh, again, it's just our way of life in the Imperial Valley. So it, it's important. A lot of these kids, it'll be the first time ever involved in a game. And it, there, there's, and it, when you're playing at Central High School with no track around the stadium, obviously it just adds a little more to the atmosphere. Um, you're right on top of everybody, literally. You can hear people in the stands yelling, good and bad. And uh, so those kids take all that in. It's, it's, it, it's not just a game, it's an event. And um, it's an event that they'll remember the rest of their lifetime. When they're my age and not yours, when they're at my age, they'll, they'll still be talking about you know, when they were in high school playing in this game and what happened and who scored and who made the tackle and who did what. And uh, that's how important this game is. And, and yes, you remember every game, but trust me, the Bill game stands out for everybody in a community of alumni on both sides. Oh, these kids are excited. I mean, I think they're, they're just glad to be out and be able to go to a game. Last year, they couldn't come to a game. Um, it, was, it was two per parent, you know, two per family, and it was mainly parents that were there. It, it adds a different environment when you have your student body there in a student section on both sides. And uh, that just adds to the environment. And, uh, you know, those kids that are playing in the game, trust me, they take all of that in uh, when their peers are there. And uh, it just adds more to the game when these kids are able to go to a game. And as you've seen this year, people have poured out to games. I think just we're fortunate to be able to go out to games and enjoy a Friday night football game. And um, that's times 10 or 100 at this point when you talk about the bell game. Tell us a little bit about what it was to have your dad. He's still alive and stuff, but what's it like to, when he was on the sidelines with you or on the headset with you? Well, he spent, he spent most of the time in the, in the booth, but, you know, it's, uh, it's really nice to have somebody up there that has a, a very settling, calming voice at times when, when things aren't exactly going your way or, or you, need, you need a little bit of a, hey, we're fine, let's just keep going. And that's always nice to have. And... Uh, I have never been on the offensive side in particular. I coached the offensive line for 10 years. Um, but while he, was, uh, while he was coaching with me from 11 to 15, I called the plays. Well, I don't want to say I called the plays. He called the plays from the booth, and I relayed them to the kids. And once in a while, I would change it and put my own stuff in there, and he'd be like, are you sure? I said, yep, we're going to do this. And... Um, that's brought a whole new perspective for me. I don't think that the philosophy has changed because I know when Brandon came in, we, we talked about this at length, that he wants to run the ball. And, we, and we're still set on running the ball. But now we have the personnel. We have guys that can catch the ball. We have a, an outstanding quarterback in um, Ethan Gutierrez. And he's able to throw the ball. He's helping us on triple option. I mean, we've just, by having this personnel, we've been able to be more multifaceted. It, it didn't maybe look like it in the beginning when Ethan came up as a freshman, because we all got to remember, he was a 14-year-old freshman thrown into the fire. Um, but he did go all the way to the semifinals, one point away from going to the, the championship game. And last year, we didn't have that opportunity because of the pandemic year. So we're looking forward to see what we can accomplish this year with, with the kids that we have. But last year was super important that whenever we got, we felt that we got a lead, even if it wasn't a big one. We were getting kids into play and getting them time because we knew that they, the future was coming very quickly. It was only a six-week season for us. There's no JV season for those kids. Either. No JV season. Some of our JV coaches have caught themselves even saying, didn't you learn that last year? And they're like, oh, man, you didn't have a freshman year. So now getting back to what we're talking about now, we have three freshmen starting on, on our team and two sophomores starting. Now the two sophomores were on the team last year and it was really important that we got them playing time last year. The freshmen this year, uh, because of injuries, because of the other things, we just had to start playing them. And I had to tell myself, look at it this way, coach them as a varsity team. Don't coach them as a freshman. Don't be easier on them because they're a freshman. Coach them like they're a varsity football player. 
and, and you'll get more out of them. We know both ends of this game. You know, we know how to, we've won it, we've lost it. Uh, we've come back the next year, won it back. Um, you know, we, we kept it for a 10 year period at one time. Um, and Central has it now for the four year period. And you know, it's, it's a back and forth which makes the rivalry great. The thing that's really been nice about since uh, with Central is that the in the last five years or what have you, uh, it's all come down to league championship now. And in years past, uh, that league championship was decided either by, you know, maybe back in the you know 2011, 12. Imperial had already made that decision on who was going to get it, or we had already made the decision on who was going to get it. And the bell game was just the bell game, and it wasn't as important as it is now. And now it's, I mean, there's all kinds of importance as far as playoffs, uh, league championship, uh, bragging rights, everything's online now. That's a touchdown! Okay, so looking Those at bars up. When I was on that bus turning the corner to the school, I remember hearing the fans. And I remember my friend JJ telling me, that's, that's, that's what it's like. And then when we turned in the gate, stepping on the, stepping off the, stepping off the bus, I remember just the crowd just roaring. Couldn't even talk to my, I couldn't even whisper to my teammates. It was just, it was a crazy feeling. It was the best feeling I ever had is playing football. I just remember looking at Esparza taking the ball away from me. <clears throat> taking the ball away from me and I tried reaching for him, but it was a big momentum switch. I mean, it was hard going in with 10,000 people. I mean. So, you know, after that play, uh, I just felt that, that that was a big play in the game, that it changed the game, honestly. And if I had to tell you anything, just, you know, as a freshman starting in a Bell game, it's, it's a big game, and sometimes you gotta take away that that crowd, that energy that they brought, and change that and put that on your side, and just play your game. Don't worry about anything else. Just play your game. One of the hardest things about being a mom, being in the stands during that game, is for one thing, just the criticism. I mean, it's hard as a mom to sit there and hear everybody talk about what you should be doing or could have done or would have done, um, you know, and knowing that, that, that I can't say anything back. And then I'm scared you're going to get hurt, you know, if not physically, sometimes mentally. Um, and as a mom, I know that, you know, really all your dreams could come true and with a win, and if not, I gotta be there to be there for you afterwards. It's, it's tough. If I could go back and tell myself my freshman year, I would tell myself, just go in and don't worry about the crowd, don't worry about the atmosphere. Just go in and play. Do you, play your game, ball out. I knew we had a good team. Just that Bell game, we had a bad game. We, everybody has a bad game. Bell game, we had a bad game. They had their best game. After the La Jolla game, I knew what we were capable of. Going when La Jolla played Scripps Ranch and La Jolla beat him, that just broke my heart. Like this year, I'm really comfortable going into that field. I'm very confident in my teammates. Um, I'm more comfortable because I know what it's gonna be like. I already know what it's gonna feel like. I just had to leave. I had to leave my team. I'm gonna have to leave my team just like every other game. Friday's gonna be about leadership and picking them up and doing what I have to do as a quarterback. I, I think I'm, I'm really ready. I'm ready for the, I'm ready for El Centro. I'm ready to go play at their home field again. I already know what their atmosphere is like. It's probably gonna be a lot more packed. I mean, I'm, I'm ready to feed off their energy. I'm ready.